this video, in part two, we're going to talk about how you thread text from one text box into another text box, anywhere on your document. So there's a couple ways to do this, but this is the way I like to function it within InDesign. So what I have here is I have one text box. It's just one. It doesn't exist or linked from any other text box. And right now I have the overset symbol along the bottom of that text box. And the overset symbol is this red plus sign, and that indicates there is more text here than is being displayed in the text box. So what I'd like to do is I would like to flow the text from this column into the next column. And right now there is no additional text box in this column. So we're going to go over something called manual text threading. And here's how it works. With the pointer tool, with the selection tool essentially, you are going to move your mouse over top of that overset symbol on a text box once you have that text box selected and just click it once. And what happens is it loads any remaining text into your cursor, at which point you can decide where you want to place it. So again, I'm just going to move my mouse <clears throat> into the general area where I'd like to place this text. And you see again, which I mentioned in part one, that little arrow goes white, indicating it can see the guides uh, and the column margins that you'd like to use. So at this point, I'm just going to click once, and it threads the text. So what it's done is it's taken any of the text uh, any of the extra text that I had within that text box and placed it in this new text box and linked them together. So what I mean by that is if I edit this text, you can see it flows into the next column. So they are linked text boxes. I'm going to do that again. So again, here I have more overset text. I'm going to click the text box, click the overset symbol once, and then click where I want to place it. Essentially, it creates a text box and away we go. An, a, a different way to do it is to use existing text boxes. So let's just say I had a frame here that was already built. So that's a box that I would like text to be placed into. And what I like to do is take this text, the remaining text, and place it into this existing text box. So to do that, you'd click the overset symbol. And you can actually see, as soon as I move my mouse over top of that text box, the cursor goes with little dotted brackets around the text, you can kind of see it there. Over here, you can see it's straight lines, okay? And over here, it's dotted bracket. So what you do is you just move your mouse over that existing text box, you click once, and it places the text or threads the text into that existing text box. In our next video, I'm gonna show you how you can do this procedure in called semi-automatic text threading, uh, where essentially we don't have to go down and click on this overset symbol each time we wanna create a new text box. So be sure to check out that video where we talk about semi-automatic text threading.